editing a black and white portrait. In this video I'm going to take a look at editing a black and white portrait and using various layers to build up subtleties within the image to give the image overall depth. I'm also adding a softness to the image as well to create that slightly golden era effect within the image as well. You'll see from the original and how it's changed what you can do in a very short space of time and you can decide what effects you want to use and what you want to bring out within the image. I've cheekily left some cyan in the eyes, very very subtle though, but that again just draws the viewer into the image itself. It's not spot colouring, but it's not too far away from it either. Hope you enjoy this video and I hope you get something from it. Let's dive right in. Okay, now that that's us in Luminar, the first thing we are going to do with this is we are going to get into the AI structure. And with AI structure, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it back. I'm going to soften this image. So I'm going to take it back to around about there. So you can see the softness in that already. Next thing, we're building this image up, remember. Next thing is I'm going to get into the details enhancer. Okay, in the details enhancer, we're going to push this to around about 21. So you can see it's beginning to affect. It's at this point I had some corruption in the audio, so what I did was I set the small details to 21, chose Edit Mask, and took the brush opacity down to 10, and painted gently over the eyes and some of the hair as indicated, just to bring out the small details in this area. I'm going to get into Glow, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Soft Focus for this. And I'm not going to take it too much, I'm only going to take it to about 6, roughly about there. That's just quite a nice amount of found with other portraits of this type as well. So quite happy there. I'm going to get into layers now. And within the layers, I am going to duplicate that layer. And in the duplication, what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the glow even further because I want control of that glow so I'm going to increase that even further so I'm going to get in here and I am going to increase it to about 11 and I'm going to take the brightness back because I don't like what's going on all around here so I'm going to take that back there just to a point where I'm quite happy I'll try about that just about there I'm actually quite happy with that as it is just now because we're beginning to lose what's going on in the background. Okay, back into layers for the next one. Next thing I'm going to do, we're going to change this black and white now. Now that I've built up that, I want to go in and change it to black and white. So I'm going to go in and add a new adjustment layer. And in this adjustment layer, I am going to go into black and white conversion. So straight away, I'm going to turn this to black and white. Then I'm going to play with the colours in here. Not all of them, because not all of the colours are there. So I'm going to pull back the yellows. I always start, for me, I always start with the yellows. So the yellows I'm going to pull back, and the reason I'm pulling them back, if I pull them back quite a bit, you should see a difference around this area here, around the cheekbones and under the nose. So I'm just finding a subtle balance here. I'm trying to build more depth into the face for this image in particular. So I'm going to take that back to around to about there. Now I'm going to go in and add more to that. So if I take that back so you can see there more depth coming in, we're creating more depth. Remember this is a global edit so it's affecting the entire image though. So I'm going to take that back to around about there. Greens I'm not going to touch. Cyan's if I push the cyans, watch what happens to our eyes. So I'm going to take the cyans back and I'm going to take them back to about there. And that still works okay fine for me. Blues, I'm not going to touch. And magentas, I'm not going to touch. But to add a cheeky wee effect to this, I'm going to jump into the saturation. And I'm going to play with the cyan again because remember we adjusted it in the eyes. So if I take that back up, I can recolor our eyes. And then it just looks like spot coloring. This is meant to be black and white or 
as near as black and white as possible, but I want to add a cheeky element into the eyes. So I am going to take the cyan up ever so slightly, just to around there. And if I flick that on and off, it will take off everything. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the cyan back. So as you can see, if you just watch the eyes here, take that back, and I'm going to push it back up. I might have been too cheeky at 29. Nope, 29 I'm going to get away with. So that's us add, added that tone back in. So it's just a, a slightly cheeky effect with this. Next thing I'm going to do is I am going to go into the vignette because we're now building up the entire image and how we want the final look to be. So for the vignette, I'm going to pull that quite far back. And I'll pull it back to about there being aware of everything that's going on with this. So I'm quite happy there, there doesn't seem to be too much there, but for me the balance is too much over lighter in this side and I want the image darker and darker as we go. So I'm going to get into the professional panel and what I'm going to do is an adjustable gradient. So I want to lose the lighter area here. So how I'm going to do this, I'm just going to do this with the adjustable gradient. So I'm just going to pull that down. That affects the entire image top down. I'm going to set the orientation. I'm going to pull it around here just to darken it down so that our eyes are drawn into the lighter area and eventually it's going to be drawn in just to the face. Quite happy with that. Quite happy with the effect it's having. I'm going to take it over slightly so that it doesn't impact in the face too much. And I'll turn that off and then I'll let you see the difference. So there's quite a difference there already. Yes, it has impacted the face here, but again, subtly, so we can work with that as it is. Next thing, I am going to add another adjustment layer. In this adjustment layer, I'm going to start to bring out everything that I need to bring out. So I'm going to get into light first. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the highlights, but I'm going to pull them back the way because of something that we're going to do in the future. So I'm pulling this back just to about there. Looking all over the image, it looks fine to me so far. Shadows, I'm going to pull them back as well. Just to about, that's quite a happy spot there quite liking what I've seen so far with this. So everything's beginning to balance out. But I don't know if you've noticed, as we edit and as we edit, the background here is becoming more and more distracting because it could look like hair coming from her. Yes, there will be that. will possibly could be some of her hair, but I think it's all tied back here. So I'm going to get rid of that in a minute. But before that, I want to add another effect to this image as well. And for this effect, I want to get into the matte look and I want to just flatten this image slightly. So you'll see what I'm going to do here. If I begin to pull that out, do you notice what happens with the blacks? I take it too far, we get that style really flat. Nice image though, a nice effect, but that's not what I'm after for this when I want a subtle effect in this. So I'm going to pull that back just a tiny amount in here, just to flatten the image, to give me the effect that I'm after. I'm going to go for around, watching the image, so that's about 35. Quite happy there. I could go in and fade as well, but that again is lightening up the image. Visually lightening up the image, it's not increasing light in it, but so I want the impact to be around this area here quite happy so far the way this is turning out and as I see the cheeky tiny bit of cyan in the eyes again she's got big eyes but this cheeky bit of cyan just draws you in there as well instead of being full cyan blue eyes next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this area here so I'm going to get into the cone and stamp so I'm going to select from around this area here and hopefully I won't get a repeat pattern. So hold down Alt on the keyboard, click, and I'm actually going to turn the opacity down. Just to around there, that will do fine. And then I'm going to just draw in 
and I'm going to keep checking it and I'm going to keep checking for repetition and I can see repetition there so I'm going to change my source paint in there slightly down there I'm going a tiny bit closer to her face and that's working and then perhaps choose some of the darker make the brush bigger with the square brackets take the opacity right down to help blend it even further so I'll just do a click there and click done just to draw our eyes in even further I'm going to add a further vignette I'm going to drag that right into about there but I don't want it to affect the rest of the image because I have quite a nice balance in my opinion for the rest of the image I'm going to choose the subject I'm going to go for there and then I am going to edit the mask with a brush edit mask brush and it's on paint and I'm going to paint it into the areas that I want it to affect and it'll be mainly the skin down here bring it down again and it's automatically set at 50% up here so I'm fine for me and I may actually erase and just erase in there not too much I need the brush a bit bigger and the reason is I need it to be more natural looking as in as if that is how it's been lit when it was in the studio Okay, now that that's the vignette done, the last thing we are going to do for this image today is we are going to add a new adjustment layer. And in this adjustment layer, we're going to get into the pro mode and we are going to get into dodge and burn. We're going to go start painting. But we're going to take the strength of the painting right down really quite far because this is only subtle for seven, eight and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start painting in here and just under the eyes and in here and down there right I'm not going to paint too much I'm going to click here and if I flick that on and off see the subtle difference So that should be enough you shouldn't need too much I've just done this really quickly if you're doing it yourself again as always take your time when you're doing it if you want to you can go in to film green in the same layer and add that tiny amount of green I'll just zoom in so that you can see it if I take it up there that's way too much in my opinion for this image so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it back to about there zoom out flick it on and off so as you can see still too much I'm going to go really subtle with this say about three and I'm going to leave it at that so this is the image we started with and after a few tweaks and considerations this is the image we finished with. Hopefully you enjoyed that and hopefully it lets you see that just by building up different layers and different elements within those layers, how you can get different resulting effects using Luminar. If you've enjoyed this video, please check out the other videos in the channel below. And if you're currently not a subscriber, please consider subscribing because that would be greatly appreciated. Remember, stay safe. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.